welcome back to another vlog it has been a crazy week i would say i don't think i filmed for like two weeks now just excuse these super casual appearance we're just here in the house just waiting for the day to come so that we can move so all of our furniture and everything is gone i am laying on the mattress that one of my daughters is sleeping on i came to this corner it looks super plain i look dead tired and like pale but we have been doing a lot of relaxing the past two days ever since they took all of the house things and we literally have nothing to worry about but we also have nothing to do because we already shipped our car and we already sent our home goods as well so we're literally just sitting here so these weeks have been a little rough because that to me is like it's very difficult i don't have like anything here in this vlog i I am going to show you guys how I apply my press on nails because I did film that like more than two weeks ago and those nails are still on after packing and moving stuff and cleaning and I mean they look horrible out of shape and just but none of them are popping off so in this video I'm going to show you guys the process of how I did that and that was when I still had my furniture and stuff so this is going to be like kind of choppy because some things will be like in the past and then some things will be like this present week and then we're gonna combine it into a vlog but before i get started with the rest of the vlog this fall it sure did <laughs> i wanted to thank today's sponsor which is timu i'm going to be showing you guys some items that i got from timu to help me with my move and with traveling so the timu haul is going to be really quickly i want to show you guys the things that i picked up from there this time around if you haven't watched my previous timu hauls i have two other hauls on my channel today's haul is going to be centered around traveling must-haves pretty much I really recommend that you look into these products because they will make your traveling life so much easier if you're traveling for vacation. It just helps to stay organized. And if you're not familiar with Timu, Timu is an online marketplace. It's similar to Amazon, similar to Dollar Tree, that type of vibe. And they literally have everything that you can possibly look for. They have beauty products. They have traveling must-have. They have things for your kids, pets, your kitchen, home decor, things for the men, things for the car. For, I mean, for everything, you will find it at Timu. And their prices are super duper affordable. Their shipping time is great. Every single time that I've ordered something from Timu, which I have ordered myself, I have gotten my package in less than two weeks, so it's really quick. And Timu accepts all major credit cards as well as pay later programs such as Klarna and Afterpay. Now you can shop for Timu on your computer or on your cell phone, but I would strongly suggest to download the Timu app. It's just smoother experience and you find everything quickly everything is very smooth the checkout process is quick so i definitely recommend downloading the app there's also a ton of coupons available on the timu app that you can use i'm also going to be sharing a coupon code that you can use if this is going to be your first order don't forget that i'm going to be adding all of the links to the description box as well as in the comment section there's going to be a link that will take you to my landing page and that will show all of the items that i showed in this video just in case you guys are interested i also forgot to mention that they offer free shipping and they also accept returns for up to 90 days so with that said let's go ahead and let's get started with the items that i picked up so here is my timu package the first one is this laptop case so i'm going to be putting my laptop in here because i am going to be traveling with my laptop so that i can edit videos and still work so it is super soft on the inside and then it also has a pocket right here and another zippered pocket in here where you can put either your mouse or cables or anything that goes with your laptop so that is the first product super sturdy nice i got it in the black color but they have different colors to choose from i also got this travel case right here which i have bought these types of travel cases on amazon plenty of times and i've spent way more money and they look exactly the same like they're the same this one i'm going to use to put 
we are going to be traveling with a lot of chargers and i have a lot of my equipment from for my camera and tripods and all of those types of things so whatever it is that you need to travel with to keep it organized and safe so i got this one in a gray color then i picked up these simple little clear cases just to put any toiletries anything i have three girls that i'm going to be traveling with so these are all going to be used because they're all taking their little things with them it could be like hair scrunchies or accessories anything like that you can definitely fit into these bags i also got these which are so cute i'm so excited for these i love these i cannot wait to do some i already have my luggage packed but i love some things kind of like just thrown in there because i knew i was going to be receiving these but look at these little traveling cases. They're so, so, so cute. And you can fit a lot in here. So this is how it looks. These are really sturdy and really, really good quality. So I definitely recommend those. Got this also for my 12 year old it's also just a little case that you can put stuff in i'm not sure exactly what they're going to be putting in here but i figured it was good to have options glittery really cute and girly her favorite color or like one of her favorite colors is blue she's not really a pink girl so i also got her this right here which i'm going to use for her to put her headphones in look how cute this is you guys and it also has a little pocket here so if you have any type of like sd card or anything like that you can fit that in there as well so those are for her next up i got this super cute jewelry case that i can take with me to put all of my jewelry inside so you can put rings you can put earrings you can put bracelets it brings extra little dividers that you can put in here like so if you want to divide it it brings this little panel here which you can put like your stud earrings in here and then another section where you can put maybe hoops in here bracelets and all of your jewelry will be nice and organized in here so that's super cute as well i got even more organizers so i was thinking of like my husband and just all of us how we have so many different things to pack so this one is really organized as well but this one is also really good zipper as you can see doesn't really get stuck or anything it's black i'm pretty sure i got this one for me because everything in my suitcase they're all black except for my travel cubes those are really cute they're like palm tree looking because i used it when we went on vacation I got two of these which these are also travel for your digital stuff so they provided a picture so that is how you can organize yourself with these look at this so you can put so much stuff in here cables camera stuff because i do have a lot of chargers for my lighting and all of that so i did pick two of those up so this is where i'm going to put my actual camera so this one is like thicker so i think that first one was going to be for my husband this one is for me so this one i'm gonna put it brings the dividers as well so here are the, the things that you can divide with or you can just leave it open towards the bottom it's deeper so i can put my camera my lenses in here my camera chargers and cables and everything so really really nice and the quality is really good as well so these two are different sizes but definitely recommend them super affordable and here is another one so maybe in like an upcoming vlog i can show you guys how i organized everything and what i used them for because these are so good and this is a lifesaver because i just nothing i cannot stand than like messy luggage especially if you're going on vacation like you want to be relaxed you want to find everything easily you don't want to be like searching for things all over your luggage so i like that i got some stuff for my girls for when we go to the airport these are so cute i got them these little neck pillows so one is in the shape of a little piggy and this is my favorite this one is in the shape of a little strawberry so these are the ones that you put on your neck they're gonna be you know little divas going on their little two flights so i got these two for them and then I, these my daughter saw what timu had because she was like kind of looking while i was ordering 
and she made a request. She said she wanted this, that she needed it, so I went ahead and I got it for her. This is the cutest little thing ever. I got one for Penelope, and I got one for Doelis, which is my middle daughter. These little handbags. Aren't these so cute? Also comes with the long chain strap so that they can put it like crossbody. So they don't know that it's here. I'm going to give it to them later on because if she would have found out that it was already here, I would not be able to even show it to you guys. So those are, I'm going to give it to them in a little bit. Then I got this because we have two dogs. One of them is a schnauzer, so she doesn't shed. But the other one is a, I always say her name wrong, but King Cavalier Charles Spaniel. A very long name. She sheds a whole lot. So I picked this up, which is kind of like, pretty much like a reusable lint roller. It's up all of the hair. You just roll this on your furniture, wherever it is that there is hair in your car. And then when you're done, you pop this right here and all of the hair will be on this side and you throw that away and you can continue to use it. So I figured this was great to have with Lola because she sheds a whole lot. A lot of you guys have been asking me where my lashes are from or what lashes I'm wearing. And a lot of the times that I have been wearing lashes lately, they have been from Timu. I'm just so impressed with their lashes. Now, some of them can be very dramatic. So when you're shopping for them, just make sure that you pay attention to the style that you're getting. And make sure to trim them so that they fit on your eye and they don't look too big on you but these are more on the dramatic side i got these lashes right here but they look dramatic but it's because they're really long so i take out almost half of the lash this one's going to look very like spaced out so they're going to be a little more dramatic but i like to have different styles just to have something to play with and then i got these which are definitely more on the natural side but still make a statement that's that's the type of lashes that i like and what I do like is the curl. The way that they curl, they're really, really nice. So I'm so happy to have some more lashes. And then lastly, I picked up two hair tools. So I just recently got a keratin treatment done on my hair. So that's why it's super duper flat right now because I can't wash it for the next four days. I haven't done one in like almost a year. But I went ahead and I got this hair tool. I've never, this is like a hair crimper. I believe that's what it's called. And I can't do it right now because I can't do any type of styling to my hair for the next four days. But this is really nice to create those, like a crimp type of style. I cannot wait to try it out because it's going to be my first time trying that. And then I got this because of my mom. So my mom placed an order with Timu after I told her about it and she got herself this hair curler. They give you a charger for it. See, that's why I need the little case because I have so many of these chargers and it comes in this little pouch like this. This is how mine looks. You put your hair through here, you press the button and it's going to curl your hair. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that in a video, like in a vlog to show you guys how that goes. But my mom sent me a video of her trying it and it curled her hair so nice. Kind of like for those days that you wanna do like a quick curling of your hair and it gave her like these really like soft, not too tight, but not too loose curls. And I told her, send me a picture of how your hair looks in the morning and if it holds up, then I'm gonna order one for me. She sent me a picture the next day and her curls were still there not as tight but they were still there so that convinced me and i'm going to be trying this out for myself so super excited to try this out as well and that is pretty much it for my timu haul thank you so much for timu for sponsoring this portion of my vlog don't forget to download the timu app and check the description box in case you are interested in any of the products that i showed and with that said that's going to be it for this portion of the vlog next up we're going to be doing my press on nails and also doing some cooking so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in a bit all right guys so this how to press on nails is not going to be professional at all this is just coming from someone who just started doing their own press on nails but i wanted to share with you guys how i do them so here i showed you guys how i selected my sizes make sure that you select them so that they cover your entire nail no nail is showing but also don't put them too big because that can cause them to pop off the next step i do and don't mind my horrible fingers okay just the move had them 
super duper tore up but i am pushing back my cuticle most of the nail press-ons like the little kits they will come with a little wooden little stick that you can use to push back your cuticle so i start off doing that nothing too crazy don't be too harsh just make sure that you push it back a little bit and then i do own a little drill so i have these little sets which i did get one of them from timu i did show you guys in my previous timu haul i go in with the one that looks like a little ball i am so sorry that i don't know the right names for everything but it's just a little ball at the end it's really small as you can see my camera wasn't focusing too good but this does not hurt at all you can put it at a low speed so that it's very gentle it's just going to take off any of the cuticle skin sorry if you're grossed out <laughs> but it's going to really clean up that edge for you and that's going to help the nail last longer because there's no skin that's going to detach while it's growing to make the nail pop off it's literally going to go and stick onto just the nail surface I feel like it helps my nails grow faster as well and healthier because I'm just taking off all of that extra skin. But don't go too crazy with it. Just do a little bit on each nail because you don't want to hurt your nail either. So I try to be very gentle with what I do. Press-ons have really just been helping for my nail to get strong and to grow while the nail kind of protects my natural nail if that makes any sense so next up i'm using this more pointy sharp one and this one is going to get right in between the cuticle and the nail and this is going to further clean up that area i make sure to really clean up the sides just to make sure that the cuticle is not attached to my nail so that when i put the press on it just again attaches onto only my nail there's my little one coming to see what I'm doing. Little Penelope. Once I have done all of that, I'm going to use alcohol prep pads. And I'm going to rub these all over my nail beds just to remove any excess oil. Because oil is another factor that will make your press-ons pop off. So if you take off the excess oil, it will help them to last longer. So there, everything is cleaned up. It's ready to go. I use the Static Nails Nail Glue. I got it from Ulta. Amazing amazing nail glue i love it and i used to file the fake nail as well as my real nail but lately i've only been doing it on my real nail because let me tell you since i don't produce a lot of oil on my nails my nails were lasting like if i left it for more than three weeks they would stay on that's how hard and secure they were sticking on so i stopped filing both sides but if you do have oilier nails you can file the inside of the press on to make it a little bit more textured so that the nail has something to grip onto as well as your nails so as you can see here that is one already glued i went ahead and filed the rest of my nails not a lot because you don't want to file down too much of your natural nail just enough to remove any shine and then i'm just sticking on my nails so that is how i do it i put glue on the press on nail and i also put glue on my real nail i want there to be enough glue that there won't be any bubbles and it's going to stick on nicely and I hold it there for I would say like 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure that it's really really nice and secure and I like this static nail because it's a brush I think that using the brush makes it a little less messy than the other types of glues And then now I am going to shape the nails because I don't like the shape that they come with. They do come a little bit more rounded. I wanted the nails to be more square. So I just used a nail file and gave it the shape that I preferred. And as you can see, this is how they look before. And this is how they look after I shape them so it's all about preference however you like your nails they sew long nails short nails they have so many different styles to choose from and now to make them a little bit stronger and last longer and appear thicker and like they're from the salon i apply a base coat gel polish and that's what i'm putting on right now and i go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and then i go in with a top coat of gel so this step is not necessary this is just if you want them to look a little bit more sturdy a little more shiny and kind of like if you went to the salon you can do this step now i would prefer not to put my hands under the lamp but i had already packed away my little stands that i got from timu but moving forward i'm going to put the nails on a stand polish them 
cure them and then put them onto my nails so that I don't have to put my hands underneath the lamp, if that makes any sense. I feel like it's healthier that way just in case because I'm not sure what this light can do to your skin. So I'd rather be on the safe side. So next time I will be doing it that way once I have all my stuff after I move. So now I'm just doing the other hand the same way. There you go. That is the finished nails with top coat and they lasted me like three weeks, you guys. As you can see in the beginning of the vlog, that was this week and I still have them on at the moment even though they look super beat up because they're just, they've been through it. Now I'm applying a little bit of oil, cuticle oil and also hand cream and I feel like a new woman. You guys will see the difference. I mean, look at that. Compared to how we started off, it's moisturized, it's clean, the cuticle area is cleaned up and the nails look really, really nice. So I hope that this helped and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now we're going to move on to some cooking, cook with me. I'm going to be making my kiddos favorite meal that I make that is Alfredo pasta. I make the sauce myself at home. I am using bow tie pasta for my youngest daughter. That's her favorite. And then I use spaghetti for the rest of us. And that is just me boiling the pasta. Very basic. I had to pour myself a glass of wine because we had been going through it these past few days. I'm going to go ahead and season up my chicken. I'm using salt. I'm using garlic powder. Let me tell you something. I'm Puerto Rican. My food needs to be seasoned. So we're adding paprika in here for some color. We need some sazon up in my kitchen, okay? So I'm using some black pepper as well. Anytime that I'm cooking, I'm gonna use as much, I love seasonings. I love different kinds. I love trying new seasonings. It's my favorite thing. And I'm adding some butter to a pan and after I seasoned my chicken, I'm going to go ahead and cook it in butter. I'm also going to be adding garlic paste because that gives it such a good flavor. So that is how I'm going to be cooking my chicken and now I'm going to get started on my Alfredo sauce. For my Alfredo sauce, I do heat up a little bit of butter. I would say like three tablespoons of a stick of butter. Some cream cheese I've been adding lately. I didn't do this before, but I have done it the past few times and it adds a little bit more creaminess to the sauce. And now I'm adding in heavy whipping cream. I did about two cups and then a cup of regular milk. And then now I'm going to add a cup's worth of whatever cheeses you wanna use. So I use mostly Parmesan cheese, but I do add a little bit of Romano cheese. This recipe is never really the same because I play around with it. Sometimes I add more heavy whipping cream, sometimes I add less. I'm just, you know, playing around with it. But when you see that it is not boiling, but it's kind of like bubbling up, you go ahead and you add that cheese and make sure that your heat is kind of like on a low medium because if not, it can ball up and just get really nasty and consistency. So you gotta kind of stay on top of it. And here is the chicken almost done. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up my chicken to go on top of the pasta. We also opened up this little board here with olives and cheese and almonds. We were just kind of relaxing while I was cooking. I was with my husband. This is the finished sauce. You want it to be thicker and then I leave it on low and that will help it thicken up a lot. And do not mind the plates. We ran out of everything that we had. Our home goods were already gone. So this is what I was working with. But here is the finished plate. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so, so much for so watching. So to finish up today's vlog, vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm going to show you guys a pr package that i got from elemy skincare this is the first time that i try any of their skincare i did receive this package here with a few products so i just wanted to show them quickly to you guys because i'm super duper grateful that i get to try these products and i want to give them the attention that they deserve i don't want it to just sit there you know and not be shared with you guys now the package did come a little destroyed but that's okay so i did get this really nice little towel so that i can do skincare with and this is my first time like i said trying out lme products i think maybe in the past i might have tried one thing but i don't remember but i have heard mixed reviews so they did send this over to me not sponsored it was just gifted to me they sent over a few products they did send over this lme superfood facial oil and for the facial oil they describe it as the fruit juice fresh daily facial oil that feeds your skin with nine antioxidant rich superfoods for your healthiest looking glow this one is one that i have heard good things about i have seen this one pop up on a few channels that i watch so i'm excited to try this one out then we have here the pro collagen marine 
cream and this is the anti-aging day cream that started them all clinically proven to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles in just 14 days so this one sounds really really nice and then here we have the dynamic resurfacing facial pads their skin smoothing pads i usually my skin usually really loves these types of pads and this one says that it's patented tri enzyme technology formulated with gentle lactic acid and probiotic ferment complex the skin kind daily exfoliating pads reveal baby smooth skin in one swipe and then here we have the lme Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I'm not sure if it's LME or LME's. Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm is a fan favorite cleansing hero loved around the world for its unique, sorry for my kiddos in the background, <laughs> they're just being kids. The fan favorite cleansing hero loved around the world for its unique and effective three-in-one melting textures. So I'm really, really excited to try these out. Now I will say the only thing that I am a little concerned about is that they have like very strong fragrance. Now it doesn't smell like synthetic fragrances or anything like that. It smells kind of like maybe the ingredients that they're using, like kind of herbally. I mean, like the facial oil, it kind of smells if you could think of like a spa, like a spa would smell like. So it's really relaxing, aromatic type of scents in there but since my skin is pretty sensitive so i just hope that it doesn't get irritated but this one smells kind of like um what is that called lemongrass or something like that that's kind of what this makes me think of I'm not a fan of the smell but i am going to give it a try because i have heard good things about the um cleansing balm as well so i will report back if any of these end up becoming like favorites or if i get like a really bad result that i have to like share with you guys i'll let you guys know but I would like to hear from you guys. If any of you guys do use any of these products, let me know how your experience is with them. And with that said, I'm going to be ending this vlog and I will be seeing you guys on the next one. I think my next vlog, I'm going to be sharing just a little bit of the packing process and probably our hotel stay and our flight and stuff. I think I'm just going to put that into one vlog, like us moving. It's going to be a little hectic, so... I'll just capture whatever I can capture. I don't force myself to vlog in moments like that because it's just very hectic with three girls and two dogs. We're gonna be like, our hands are gonna be so full. But I will keep you guys as updated as I can. Ooh, la, la.